All right, guys, I want to thank you for coming back for another video. Uh, today, we're going to be working on the SN95. Um, today is a bittersweet day for me. Um, you guys have not seen too much SN95 content. I got another video that I'm getting ready to upload uh, showing what happened to the SN95. Um, so long story short, um, the car was potentially sold the week after. And, uh, you know, the day after we started talking, um, I had a bad patch of road and fucked up some stuff on the SN95. So today we are going to be um, getting stuff done on the SN95. Um, it's Friday, June 14th, I think it is. Um, gentleman's supposed to be coming tomorrow from Ohio to pick up the car. Fingers crossed, I've had this shit happen to me like three or four times now where people don't show, so... You know, we'll see. Hopefully he shows up because I already got another brake caliber to start putting the car back together. And, you know, I'm going to be spending some time on it today. So, um, you see the car in the background. And the car is already up on jack stands. Uh, that's basically what happened. Brake caliber came off, um, ground inside the wheel, and fucked some stuff up. Uh, snapped the caliper bracket. Got a new bracket. Got a new Cobra caliper. Um, rotor's fine. Brake pads are a little fucked up, uh, but the guy's gonna be trailing at home, um, so I'm not too concerned about that. I just wanna get it rolling and safely braking. ABS ring is chewed up. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this ABS ring out a little bit with a pick, see if I can straighten it out and try and straighten out the uh, nub on the ABS sensor. Um, the uh, dust shield is a little dicked up. I'm gonna try and straighten that out a little bit, but it, it's pretty tore up. Um, that's not a huge deal. Brake line, uh, you can see the end busted off. I'm gonna put a rubber brake line back on it for now. And the end of the tie rod. Um, tie rod end has chewed up a little bit. Um, again, mostly superficial stuff. Um, not overly concerned. Um, this is the part that hurts. True forge wheel got a little fucked up. Um, got a couple nicks on the outside. Not horrible, horrible, but it's bad enough. I've um, got a nick on the spoke right over here. Um, the inside, the true forge wheel did get torn up a little bit. As you can see, it's a little dented up. Um, structurally, still should be fine, um, but it did get fucked up a little bit. So, uh, what I agreed upon the gentleman that was looking at it. After, you know, we kind of agreed on the sale, he came back and asked for, you know, a decent bit off. He asked for like another 1300 off after I already dropped it two grand. And I said, no, I won't do that. Um, but you know, something happened to the car. So what I will do is I'll knock another grand off to seal the deal as much as I don't want to do that. It's not all about money. Um, at this point, it's just about space and what makes sense. So, um, as you can see, it is not ideal at all to have this car in the garage with the Shelby there. Things are tight. It's just, as much as I don't want to see it going, um, I got to start making some space and I got to get rid of this thing. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get the brake caliper on, get this thing rolling, and uh, we'll follow up with an update. So I went and got a new caliper. Uh, caliper is on. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I also forgot that with the Cobra brake calipers, that the clips on the back of the caliper. Um, or I'm sorry, the clips on the back of the brake pads. Let me see if I can find a brake pad real quick. All right, so there were metal clips, as you can see, sheared off. Uh, the metal clips on the back of the brake pad, actually, ugh, I got some shit over here. Uh, metal clips, actually, and you'll see on the new one, hold the pad onto the caliper, and then basically you're gonna see these uh, indentations where the brake pad slips in. Basically, um, you hinge off, no, hinge up like that. So you pull out the pin at the bottom, you hinge it up. But if you don't have these clips in the back of the pads, um, the caliper will basically just hold loose. It has nothing to clip into up here and nothing to clip into uh, down there. Or actually, it will have something to clip into down there. It clips into these hooks. Um, but you can see part of the hook sheared off. I think the other one was still good. Yeah, the other one was still good. So the other one sheared off a little bit, um, but like I said, you have to have these hooked in um, or else everything is gonna kind of float. So right now everything is on there good. 
Um, I had to put the OEM brake line back on. Um, it was a little bit of a pain in the ass um, just because, you know, again, they're old and not all that nice and a little rusty. Um, I put the, this is the GP, uh, GT brake line on the Cobra calipers. So if you see back there, I had to shave off quite a bit. And again, this is ghetto. Um, I don't like doing fixes this way, but the gentleman that is buying the car is very well aware of why I did it this way. The deal was that um, that I would take off, you know, and I did this willingly. I took off a thousand dollars and said, "Come pick up the car. I'm not touching it. Take it home on a trailer. Here's what the problems are." I was a nice guy. I put a brand new caliber on it, brand new brake pads, and put the line back on it. More so for everybody's safety. Um, if you see, obviously you guys know from previous videos, my driveway goes downhill and the Mustang is facing forward. So um, if we happen to go down this hill, number one, we need brakes to be able to go downhill. Number two, if you guys can see, I have that lip there. Um, so again, the, the car's probably going to hit the front end trying to go down there like that so the intent was more so for my well-being and safety i'm going to pull the car out swing it over into the yard and then back it up you know trying to do this backwards but you get the idea i'm going to back the car down the driveway but i got to have brakes to get it out of the garage get it down the driveway and swing it around i can't do that shit with no brakes or just with the e-brake um so that is why I did that. So, uh, new buyer, you are welcome. Um, I put another, you know, a little bit of money into it and a little bit of time just to make sure it's safe. We can take it around the block, get it on the trailer easier, and hopefully not have to fight with it as much, but we will see how it goes. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the car down. He's gonna be bringing a wheel tomorrow to throw on since the valve stem popped off on the other wheel. And uh, hopefully, we will uh, send it off on its bon voyage, so uh, we'll come back later. All right, today we are saying goodbye to the SN95. I know you guys are going to be a little upset. Hopefully I won't lose any subscribers off of it. I'm um, getting a little teary-eyed at the moment. But uh, she's off to her new home in Ohio. And uh, we'll see if we see any more data on her in the future. But uh, she should uh, serve the new owner very well. How do you feel about it being gone? You don't give a fuck. You don't give a fuck. Jenna's happy it's gone. Zero fucks given. Now, all my time and attention can truly go towards this train wreck of a fucking car sometimes.